<laughs> I'm very excited that there's a new helicopter in my hands, but I've also got to say, I'm a little bit worried because the last two helicopters that have been on the channel have not ended well at all. This is all the helicopter. Oh my. That's all the helicopter. Okay, bye. bye. Oh my gosh. Wow, I am full throttle down now, Abby. Let me know if I need to move. I, I don't even know down. where. Full there it is. Throttle down. I'm full throttle down. Okay, we're gonna hit the stop button. I'm holding the stop button. Yeah, and there I'm it gonna goes. Hit the takeoff button again just to see if that'll do it. Nope. That's all we could do. I'm gonna throttle up and see if we got lift. Yes. Oh my. Okay, and <gasps> that's out of control. It's out of control. It's out of control. It's out of control. Throttling down. And I'm down, down, down. Oh my down. gosh. Yep, that's fine. That's that's what we got, you guys. That's it. <laughs> I tried to film that. <laughs> it's smoking. Yeah, it's, it's gonna probably catch on fire. <gasps> Keep filming. Oh my gosh. And the saying goes, things do tend to happen in threes, but I'm also hoping that in this case, the third time's the charm, so I don't have to relive something exploding or flying away on me. And we should be in good hands because this is a Blade helicopter. It's the brand new Blade Infusion 120. It's got a brushless main rotor and a brushless tail rotor, and it flies on a nice little 2S battery. Probably the only complaint I have about the setup now is the connector type. I don't have a lot of things that fly on that and it was challenging for me to find my special little converter cable to charge it. Although they are budget friendly batteries, so I really can't complain too much. This is a bind and fly helicopter. I've bound it to my nice spectrum radio and I don't tend to do that often. Most of the time my helicopters are ready to fly. So fingers crossed I did everything right and that the third time is the charm. So let's put it in the air and see how it does. Okay, this is kind of a unique situation for me because as I said, I don't do a lot of bind and flies. So let's just throttle up. But I am fairly familiar with flying in safe and out of safe. Right now I'm out of safe. I can definitely feel that. So let's just get a feel for the helicopter. Everything is very small movements when you're flying something out of safe. Now, of course, this is bind and fly and I got it bound right up. So. The only way for me to really feel comfortable if I'm in safe is to quickly throw some switches. So what I'm gonna do is just idle up a little bit more to get it just, just high enough to where I can react quickly. And we'll throw this switch. That didn't seem to do anything. That was switch A. Switch B is nothing. Now I know this is a very capable helicopter. We can fly 3D with it. This is just a maiden flight. And you know, it's, I just wish, I wish it was just a little bit, a little bit easier to, to do this. I, I uh, know other guys would can laugh and say, geez, Nate, you fly helicopter or airplanes really well. Where's your helicopter skill at? It's, it's just non-existent compared to airplanes. And it's really, really stick time, I think. Okay, we're going to throw my back right switch and see if that's safe. It is not. And there is that. I know, I know when I threw a switch on the ground. Uh oh, okay, I just pulled back a little too hard, reacted. See, that's why I'm flying right now. I think it's very important. That's why I'm flying with the helicopter facing away from me. So, okay, that's fine. I clipped the grass really quick. It did a little spin. Well, and if you can but... see, there is a plane. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Getting ready to take off. There's a so... plane right there. It's revving up. I'm just going to stay on the ground right until there. I take off. You see the hood of it. <laughs> There he goes. Okay, he's up. And uh, I got my little helicopter here. <laughs> so, wait for it to spool up and then pop up. I know it says it has safe on the box. I read the instructions, but I'm, this, look, for me, bind and fly helicopters, I am totally new at, and I'm not afraid to admit it. We can do a little bit with it. I've I've done some 3D maneuvers, but they've been on ready to fly setups where I have my safety switch. And so I don't think this helicopter is gonna go upside down in this in this maiden flight. We can maneuver it around a little bit. It feels good, it looks good. But even little things like this leave me a little nervous. I'm just not the helicopter pilot that I would like to be. But I think it does say something that I 
I just looked at the instructions, bound it up with one shot, and it's in the air. You know, I, I just wish I had safe on this. I wish this one was a ready to fly helicopter. I think they're only selling it as bind and fly. Personally, I think that's a slightly missed market because programming things on radios for me, and I think a very, very, very big percentage of the market uh, is just not something that's appealing or fun. I like to, with, with helicopters, I like to have ready to fly with even, even race drone stuff. I want something that's easy to get in the air. I can do airplanes, but that's just me personally. But I think we have a missed opportunity with this helicopter that it's not ready to fly because I think it's a good ready to fly size and price. You know, maybe for 50 more bucks, they could have had a ready to fly setup or just, just already bound to a radio. Um, it's just, it's a challenge. It's a challenge to me and I'm not afraid to admit it that binding it and getting the switches where they need to be is just not something that's fun or appealing. Uh, but flying them is. And so, uh, you know, I like blades ready to fly helicopters. There's guys out there that are watching this, maybe a thousand guys watching this are just thinking, come on, Nate, you know, it's not that hard. Well, listen, when you first started, it was hard and it is hard. And there's this hurdle that nobody likes to talk about. Anybody that can do it is unwilling generally to help people that can't do it. And that's something that has frustrated me in this hobby for a very long time. That's the air, airplane people uh, can be like that, but there are some out there that are willing to help get you in the air. But there's this almost just like gatekeeping where guys that know how to fly 3D and do fly 3D helicopters don't really want to see other people succeed. It's just, there's not a lot of help out there for it. And, oh, I'm, I'm Abby, I'm losing it. Okay, Phew. she looked away for a second. Heard yeah, I heard that's, it. Okay. I think he's gonna touch and go. He might, and that's fine, because we have ample time to land. Uh, oh, there we go, battery's dead. So that's what it does on a low battery. Just, what? Yep, yep. <laughs> and I was right, there he is. I just checked it, it's a low battery, because here's throttle up and throttle down. So, had, had no juice which is perfect timing because that airplane is coming in for a landing here. Anyway, um, I think it's a great helicopter and in the right hands, it's going to look awesome, right? I am new to helicopters and not afraid to admit it. That's just the beauty of our channel. And there's so many people, and I don't understand this, but there's so many people that only want to see nothing but success on our channel. Like just, like commercials all the time and I don't I just don't get that so two things really for me for me this is me I'd like to see a ready-to-fly setup it's just easier to get it in the air Abby would probably be willing to fly it if it had safe yeah and and it does have safe but guess what I bound it following the instructions and safe was not on any of my switches on a on the newest spectrum radio and I the other thing is the batteries I had to dig and dig and dig and dig to find a battery that I had because uh, I don't ever use these. This is very rare to use. Spectrum has an IC3 plug that's amazing. And I th think they should have included that on here. I'm sure they have a valid reason why they didn't, but, or IC2, the little IC2 plug. Mm -hmm. and, and I've got a ton of those batteries or even a JST plug. I'm sure there's a reason for it. But again, that is a very rarely used battery and I have to have a converter cable in order to charge it. Spectrum wants things to be like in-house and stuff. And I totally get it, you know, Horizon, or e-flight or blade whatever blade uh, and put the spectrum electronics in put the spectrum batteries in spectrum has their own proprietary plug and it's a good one it's the best plug out there and they make it for most of their vehicles so i i wish they would just make them all ic2 ic3 ic5 plugs because they're good um it flew good and if i was a better pilot i could have flown it great for you i was expecting because it's bind and fly just like my bind and fly airplanes when i bind it it has safe on a switch and i can change what switch that goes to and stuff but this none of my switches did anything it was just the four you know the four flight channels so uh good helicopter maybe not the best representation of it but that's just my two cents i've been flying things helicopters included i've flown hundreds of different helicopters for years and that's just my experience with this just uh in case you are wondering maybe what your experience would be like too it looks good 
and it'll be linked in the description box below. Plus these batteries, plus these converter cables that you have to have in order to charge those batteries. Uh, we'll do our best to link everything down there. Now, today was a crazy kind of a little maiden for something that made me feel very uncomfortable flying, right? Well, not very, but out of my comfort zone for sure. And I'm glad I flew with AMA. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. A couple guys are vehicles are parked over there if i you know i feel like i know what i'm doing well enough that's why i'm over but i'm over here in this field where there is no one or nothing and if i panic i'm going to throttle down and make that crash into the ground before it hits anything but even so if i don't react the way i should um yeah there could be an accident i could fly this through someone's window of their car or something and that's why i'm glad i've got ama it's the academy of model aeronautics and we'll have them linked in the description box below too guys know that if you use our link uh, on the helicopter to buy this or anything on the website. It does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you and we're eternally grateful. On the subject of gratitude, I just wanna say a massive thanks to God for giving us the opportunity to get out here and jump in front of the camera long enough to bring this video to you. And last but not least, I wanna say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your insanely awesome support. If you like helicopter videos and we've got a lot on our channel, we'll have a fun hand-picked video popping up right about now this week. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.